Hello everyone, thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom. Today's is from April 13th, and I quote, People who feel guilty about being rich will always end up poor. From Love, Nurture, and Forgive by Master Okawa. Thank you, Master. Um, I have a feeling that I've done this in the past, but I couldn't find it in my file, so I guess I haven't. So I'm just going to talk about it again. I mean, even if it's twice in a row uh, in the recent videos, still it's an important quote. Uh, people who feel guilty about being rich will always end up poor. Um, the spiritual mechanism behind this is very simple. What you think in your subconscious is what you attract into your life or what you manifest into your life. Or if that sounds too spiritual for you, for those who are uh, more logical way of thinkers, uh, I'll just say it like this. Uh, your subconscious way of thinking is your uncontrollable habit of decision making. It's like your uncontrollable habit of decision making. You're like, we're all on autopilot. We all have a pattern of the way we make decisions. And for some reason, uh, if you hate wealth, you make decisions that pulls you away from wealth. Um, I guess psychologically you can put it this way. But spiritually speaking, you know, you manifest what you think. So, uh, feeling guilty about being rich. Uh, this, a lot of people actually has this who are religious. Obvious, right? Um, like in Christianity, it talks about many forms of evil or even countries, evil countries, uh, or evil worship who worships money. And that's a very important truth. It's dangerous. Shakyamuni Buddha talks about this in Buddhism too. Beware of your desire for money. Uh, it can tor tear apart your life. And it's very true. So that is true. However, maybe I already said this, but money itself is neutral. It depends on how you use it. If you have a greedy mindset, a hellish vibration, then the money you obtain will lead you to hell or will even help you create a bigger hell here on earth. However, if you have a good heart, a good heart means wanting to serve God, wanting to serve Buddha, wanting to serve uh, the people around you on behalf of God to bring a better society, a more loving, happier society, then that money can actually be used constructively to build heaven on earth. Money can become or actually a very powerful tool uh, for us to create utopia. So this is so important. It was an eye opener for me um, because even though I didn't feel guilty of wealth, I was jealous of wealth. Uh, every time I'd see a successful person on TV, my instant reaction would be, he probably is a cheater or he's exploiting from the weak. He's exploiting from blah, blah, blah. You know, that communist socialist way of thinking. Uh, that's a very hellish vibration, by the way. And if you have that mind, you're never going to get wealthy because you hate wealth. Hating successful people means you're like, um, you're actually hating wealthy people. So, uh, I'm sorry, you're, you're hating wealthy people means you're actually hating wealth itself. So, uh, it's really important for us to switch, catch it first, and then switch it. And love wealth in a very heavenly way. Not in a selfish way, but for the purpose of expanding the realm of God here on earth. So that would be it for today. Let me quote it again. People who feel guilty about being rich will always end up poor. From Love, Nurture, and Forgive by Master Okawa. Thank you very much. And see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.